Hello, everybody. Oh my god, we're doing it. We are doing it. Um, today, I'm going to show you all of my eyeshadow palettes. And here they all are. I've tried to fit them all on frame. It was a task. Um, I've got a lot. I've got a lot. <laughs> here they all are. Uh, we're going to go through each individual one, share my thoughts on them. I'm not going to swatch. I cannot do it. I cannot do this to myself. I, I'm saying it now. I'm hoping that I'll stick to it. I probably won't, but I don't want to swatch because my poor hands <laughs> will be in agony. But in front of me today, I have a grand total of 43 eyeshadow palettes, which is, it's a lot. It is a lot, I'm not gonna lie, it's it's a lot. This includes my singles, as you can see here. I've got singles palettes off frame as well. I don't normally include my singles palettes, but I thought, you know what? They've done nothing wrong, nothing against them. I'm gonna include them today. They are technically eyeshadow palettes. I'm gonna show you everything. We're gonna get down and dirty. There are some palettes that I have never used. There are some palettes that I've used twice. And there are some palettes that I have used six million times. Slight over-exaggeration, but you know what I mean. <laughs> but just before we jump into the video, if you have not already, definitely like and subscribe because it would mean the world to me. This is gonna be a long video, guys, so get your coffee. I've got my little, I'm not gonna tip it, but my little Starbucks coffee mug um, full of coffee because I'm gonna need it. I, I actually don't know where to start, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna figure that out. <laughs> okay, so here we have my singles palettes. Um, I don't normally share these with you guys because I, I don't know, I do kind of forget that they exist quite a lot of the time, but we're gonna showcase some of them today. So this little palette is just my um, kind of project pan palettes. I know I'm probably spoiling quite a few projects for you right now, but you know what, it's fine. This is the one that I kind of have in my everyday makeup drawer. I kind of pull out these shades. It's so dirty because this shade is so crumbly. It is ridiculous. But yeah, this is just my little project pan palette full of singles that I'm kind of working on and yeah, wanting to finish or hit pan. Then I have this little yellow themed palette. I do have um, a lot of my singles collection kind of color coded. I did do a whole video just kind of organizing my singles. It was really satisfying. So if you didn't see that, I will link it in the cards above. But yeah, this is my kind of yellow and gold kind of color story. We've got some beautiful shimmers from the Pastel Roses. They are the best single eyeshadow company ever. If you live in the UK and you find it hard to get like indie duochrome shadows because they're all in the US, look in the pastel roses and you will find incredible shades. A lot of my matte singles have been depotted from the Revolution Maxi Reloaded palette as well. So yeah, we've just got a lot. <laughs> Next is a slightly bigger palette. This is kind of like cool toned purples. Um, yeah, just kind of a purpley palette. I don't reach into this one that much. I would love to get more use out of this, but unfortunately I don't. It's, I don't know, spring, spring is coming around. So maybe this is the time for that. Then this little palette is just my No Pan Left Behind project. I do like to have some singles in that project just because I do neglect my single shadows quite a lot. So yeah, these are the ones that I'm working on right now. This is just a, an empty magnetic palette. So ignore that one. All right, now let's talk about these big boys. So first we have an ABH singles palette. This is what it looks like. It is kind of full of um, more kind of browny tones. I've got some like green to brown duochromes at the bottom here. These ABH magnetic palettes are very strong. So if you have some singles that are more delicate, don't put them in the ABH palettes because they will break. That's something that I've learnt. Then we have a pinky themed palette. This is beautiful. It is perfect for like Valentine's Day. Uh, I'm sure with spring around the corner, I will be pulling into this a lot more as well. But yeah, a lot of kind of like, I like across the board color stories. These are every kind of pink that you could possibly want. You guys know I'm not a pink girl, but I still have 7 million pink shades. <laughs> 
Next, we have two Morphe palettes. Now, this is more me. This is my cup of tea. This is the love of my life. This is my blue to green color story. And oh my God, just looking at this, I'm, I'm so happy. It just makes me so happy. I wanna use this every day for the rest of my life. This color story was inspired by Sophie Alexandra. She has the most beautiful um, blue to green to yellow color story in her singles collection. And I oh, can't even describe how beautiful that is. So yeah, this was inspired by her. And then next I have another, <laughs> another neutrals palette that uh, is kind of neglected. I am thinking of doing a build your own palette, pan that palette next year, because you've seen how many singles I have and they do not get the love that they deserve. Okay, so that is all my singles. Let me pull out another basket. All right, next we're gonna do some long and thin kind of palettes. So this is just, the box that I keep these ones in. So let's just go one at a time. First I have, you guys know, my Natasha Denona mini star palette. This was um, a bit of a bugger in my collection, not gonna lie. Um, I did franken this shade and this shade, the two end shades, because I really hated this palette originally. If you didn't see that franken video, I'll link it in the cards above. But now I actually really like this palette. Now that I've kind of frankened it to the standard that I expect from Natasha Denona, um, I do like this palette. It's not one that I use every day, but it's definitely like a good little travel bad boy. Next we have my P. Louise Stack em Up palette. Sadly, this is not cruelty free, but this is what it looks like. It is so my color story. This is currently in my No Pan Left Behind project pan. I'm trying to use every single shade at least once, which should not be an issue for me because as I said, these shades have my heart. I absolutely love them. Next, this is my Project Level Up palette. This is another P. Louise palette. It is the Winter Wonderland palette. I'm trying to hit pan in Ice Ice Baby and then use all the other shades at least once which again, should not be an issue for me. I love these shades. These cool tone purples have really made a stamp on my heart recently. I really like cool tone purple. Maybe it's just the spring weather, but I really like this. Next, we have my ABH Soft Glam palette. You can kind of see this hasn't been used that much, unfortunately. Um, I think because my Pan That palette this year is the Modern Renaissance, there are a lot of repeat shades in this palette. Um, I have two pans in here, which isn't too bad, um, but yeah, it's just not something I reach for, really. You guys know, or maybe you don't, my makeup style is a lot brighter, a lot more fun, a lot more colorful. I don't know, I, I feel like this is quite neglected. Next, my favorite ABH palette. I know it doesn't look it <laughs> because there's no pans in it, but this is just so fun. The like, I think I've got a remastered version of the subculture because mine works fine. Mine works perfectly. Um, I just love these grungy autumnal shades. I really wanna have more pans in this. I really wanna make it look more loved because right now, obviously it doesn't. But um, yeah, I just, I, ugh, I think this palette is so beautiful. And then look at this, look how grungy and like grubby this looks. This is my Pan That palette. I'll let you in, I'll let you have a look. This is what it's currently looking like. We've been working on this since the start of January and my goal isn't really to finish the palette, although that would be amazing. It's more just to kind of get as much use on it as humanly possible, finish a few shades um, and yeah, and then kind of review what I wanna do with it at the end of the year. But I'm really loving this palette. I'm wearing it on my eyes today. Um, yeah, I I thought I might be burnt out with this palette by now, but I'm really, really not. I'm still loving it. These pinkier tones, like I've actually kind of fallen in love with. I know, I know, crazy. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this still. Next is a palette I have never used. This is the Revolution Night and Day palette. This is what it looks like. It is a dupe of the Pat McGrath palette, I forget which one, but I've never used it, unfortunately. This was an impulse purchase at the end of last year, and it was one of the reasons I decided to go on a complete no-buy this year, because, like, why? Like, this shade is stunning, you can see, like, it's one of those brown to blues, but, like, 
I just, I didn't need it. I don't know why I bought it. <laughs> and finally, you OG viewers will be very familiar with this palette. This, first of all, is broken, but this is my Sofex Revolution palette. This was my Pan That palette. Was it, la no, the year before last year, because last year it was my Elf Truffles palette. But this is what it looks like. It is so banged up. It is so used and abused. I would love to finish this one day. Maybe it could be a companion pan that palette. I would, oh, finishing this would be amazing. So yeah, that is definitely, I don't know. I re oh, I'd love to finish it. So that is that for this little box. Next we have some bigger, more like indie um, palettes. So let's go through these. This is my Lethal Cosmetics. I call it the Smoke on the Water palette. Uh, this shade is in my Pan Those Eyeshadows right now, which you would have seen in my Singles palette. But this is what it looks like. I call it the Smoke on the Water because, I don't know, I just love these cool tones with like a blue, you know, theme. I just think it's so beautiful. And then with this gold as well, just to kind of mix it up a little bit. I don't use this as much as I would like to. Lethal quality isn't my favorite. I heard so many people really rave about Lethal Cosmetics quality. It's okay. I wouldn't run out and buy another one of this. Like this costs me a pretty penny. And yeah, the duochromes don't really do much duochroming. The mattes are fine. Yeah, I'm just not, I don't know, a little underwhelmed with that one. Next is my Odin's Eye Christmas Eve palette. This is stunning. I got this for Christmas this year. Sadly, it has been discontinued, but oh my God. You guys know I love the blue, green, yellow color story anyway. This has that in it. This shade Nowhere is like, this started my kind of mauve dusty, pinky phase love it. You've got blues. You guys know I love blue with all my heart. This is such a special palette and the fact that it's been discontinued breaks my heart, but I'm so glad I got it. Sorry guys if you missed out, but I got it. <laughs> Next we have the Juvia's Place Warrior palette. Sadly, this is another neglected palette in my collection. Again, very similar shades to palettes that I have been panning in the past, so sadly this has been neglected. Maybe this could be a pan that palette in the future. Who knows? It was on the list to maybe pan this year, but the Modern Renaissance did outwin it. Outwin? No, beat. That's the word. Oh my God. I'm not good with words, guys. <laughs> but yeah, this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. The shimmers are absolutely stunning. The mattes are so pigmented. Like, Juvia's Place quality. Incredible. Um, we all know Juvia's Place is... Like the quality is incredible. Next is the Zulu. I wanna hit pan in all of these shades. I currently have pan in three out of the nine shades, but I don't know, just hitting pan in all of them would be amazing. This is like an OG 2016 babe. <laughs> I think this palette is stunning. I love it so much. The quality is incredible. The shades are beautiful. This blue. I had this blue shade in my Pan Those Eyeshadows and I hit pan on it within a month. That's how good it is. I love it. I absolutely love it. It is so beautiful. These two were in Pan Those Eyeshadows. Yeah, I'd love to hit pan in this matte teal. Oh, if I could hit pan in like everything, I would. <laughs> Next, sadly, this is a little bit neglected as well, but I wish it wasn't. This is the Wilderness palette from Beauty Bay. And just look at it. Like this, oh. This is so stunning. My profile picture on YouTube and Instagram was done with this palette, with these teal shades. I think they're beautiful. They are so vibrant. Like I have teals in my collection, but none really like this. I can't describe it really. It's almost got a little bit of a gray hint to it, which makes it even more beautiful. Like I can't even describe it. It is stunning. The shade Ocean is like a duochrome blue to, I don't even know, kind of purple periwinkly kind of shade. J just incredible. Like Beauty Bay quality is amazing. And then the Book of Magic. I went on a ride with this palette when I first got it. At first impressions, I hated it. 
really didn't like it at all. Then I changed my mind for about a year and just was obsessed with it for a year. And now I think it's the shimmers. I don't like the shimmers in this. I like the mattes very, very much. The shimmers, not so much. All right, that is this little box done. Let's talk about some big boys, shall we? Um, just to get them out of the way. <laughs> this is my Bella Pierre All Stars palette. I did use this in a Shop My Stash last video or the video before. It was one of them. One of them this week, I used this in a Shop My Stash and it just reminded me how beautiful it is. Um, yeah, I, I love this. This is very neutral, but it does have those pops of blue and like purple, like some kind of greeny shades up here. So pretty, very easy to hit pan in, which is amazing. Um, yeah, I just think it's so stunning, like really, really beautiful. I got this in TK Maxx uh, for a steal, I think for like 10 pounds. Uh, I think it retails for like over 50. I probably wouldn't pay that for it, <laughs> but if you can find it on a steal, very much recommend this. Next is the W7 Mardi Gras palette. This is a dupe of the Be Perfect Love Tahiti. I don't reach for this at all, really. This may be a declutter, but like, oh, just looking at it, I love it. Oh. <laughs> like, this isn't a declutter video, so I don't have to make my mind up yet. But like this, just looking at it, it's so fun. But like these purple tones, these purple pinky tones, I don't reach for anyway. This kind of middle three rows, I'd love to like just whack this all over the lid, the shade Living, with a massive wing, beautiful. These two rows are obviously the rows that I do gravitate towards because I love blue and green. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the quality of this. I got this from recommendation from Make Me Up Missa. Um, yeah, I just, I need to reach for it more. And then my, my baby. This is honestly my firstborn child. This is my Carnival XL Pro palette. You can see how much this has been used and abused. I've got quite a few pans in it. The mirror has, uh, oh, hi, oh, don't look. Ooh. Um, the mirror has broken, so that's fun. Let's just move that around. Um, I, I just love this palette. I wish I could have pan on every single shade in this. Um, maybe one day, maybe. Oh. Okay, and this is the last box full of my kind of nine pans and like mini palettes. So yeah, let's go through this. We're gonna be on this one a while, I think. I'm gonna have some more coffee to um, prepare me for this, I think. I currently only have three Huda palettes left in my collection. I did declutter a few in my last eyeshadow declutter during Vlogmas. So let's go through these. First of all, we've got the Orange Obsessions. This does not seem like my kind of palette at all, but it's just got something over me. I don't know what it is. It is really pretty. And I know this was like recalled, but I got this in TK Maxx for really, really cheap. And I just, I really like it. I don't know what it is. I really do enjoy it. This is the Huda Wild Jaguar palette. This, now this is a bit of me. This is, one of the most stunning palettes. Like it's, it just is, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This shade at the bottom is a bit of a dud. It's like a kind of hard pan mess, but these mattes, they're like typical Huda kind of purpley, mauvey, smoky shades, but I just think they're so pretty. Like I wanna get so much use out of this palette because it does have a hold on me. I do love it. And finally is the Huda Khaki Haze palette. I've sadly only used this a handful of times because when I bought this, I was actually working on a khaki shade in my pan those eyeshadows. So sadly this did kind of get neglected because if I was doing khaki, I was using that shade. But hopefully now like this will be, I don't know, in the limelight a little bit, I hope. Okay, now we've got some kind of miscellaneous. This is the She Glam Chromosome palette. Like, look at this packaging though. Like, I know obviously She Glam isn't the most quality, uh, amazing brand, but like, this is kind of bad. Um, this is what it looks like. I see this as like a mini subculture palette. Sadly, I do not class Shein or She Glam as cruelty free, even though they don't test on animals. The conditions for their workers are 
really horrific so I don't support the brand anymore. If you do support the brand I would recommend checking out some more information about the brand because I don't know if you are passionate about cruelty free you know living um, I would recommend that obviously no pressure but yeah it's just kind of put a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth for this palette. I do enjoy it like this duochrome blue it's like a blue again like a blue to brown kind of shade I really do love this palette, but yeah, it's just that, ugh, I don't know. I've spent the money on it though, so I'm gonna enjoy it and I'm gonna love it. Okay, these two were just, ugh, okay. If you don't know, I'm obsessed with The Lion King. Like, The Lion King was on loop when I was a child. My mum is probably sick to death of the thing. <laughs> but I love The Lion King so much. So when Revolution came out with a Lion King collection, I just had to buy some palettes, okay? I just had to, I didn't have a choice. Um, I was condemned to buy these palettes. Um, they're not the greatest quality, they're really not, but I mean, it's The Lion King. So, you know, uh, let's talk about this one first. This is the Circle of Life palette with Scar on it. This is definitely my favorite one of the two. This is very much my kind of color story, like a mix of like super warm and super cool tones. This shade, The Outlands, is actually really pretty. It's like a mustardy yellow with like the tiniest hint of almost green in it. Very strange. The shade Shenzi, of course, is one of those dusty mauvey shades which I'm obsessed with right now. Yeah, it's just, it's got a nice colour story. I think I could like easily hit pan in all of these shades. Like they're shades that I genuinely like and enjoy. So yeah, I like that one. This one, it's almost like two different companies were working on this palette at the same time. Because like the colour story is beautiful. Like spring in a palette. I adore it. This shimmer shade, Main Gal, is so stunning and beautiful, but these two shimmers are the worst things I think I've ever put on my eyes. They get hard pan, they are so dense, they are so thick, they don't have any shimmer in them at all. And then like these, kind of one, two, three, four mattes are stunning. This lilac is air, it does nothing. So it's so strange. There's like two different qualities in this palette. I don't really know what it is, but like, I love the color story. It is so beautiful. Oh, I can't, I can't let go of it. That is the Jungle Princess. Now we have a little bit of a neglected palette again. This is my Nabla Cutie Platinum palette. It's just, it is so beautiful. It really is. This shade Luxuriance, I said I wasn't gonna swatch anything, but like, trust me when I say, this goes on for miles and miles and miles. You can blend this up to your hairline if you want because this is the most stunning silver I think I've ever used in my life. These two mattes are gorgeous. I don't really get why there's a gold in here. I don't know, maybe just my personal preference. Uh, I could do without that shade, but even though I don't reach for it that much, when I do reach for it, oh, my life's complete. All right, and finally, we have got my ColourPop gang, my ColourPop army. So um, oh, let's go, let's go, take a breath. So I've got these in rainbow order. So first we have the red one. This is the main squeeze. Obviously all the writing's kind of been rubbed off. This is what the main squeeze looks like. This is probably one of my most neglected ColourPop palettes. I don't know, I just don't do all red looks very often at all, but like I need to because when I do, I feel like I can take on the world. I feel like an Instagram baddie. I feel incredible. So maybe I need to, maybe I really need to. But yeah, it's just something that I, I don't really reach for. Next is the Orange You Glad. This is so stunning for summer and spring. I'm definitely gonna be pulling this out and playing around with it a lot more. Um, I just, I, again, I neglect this palette quite a lot. I do lean towards my cool toned colorful shades. So like greens and blues and like very cool toned purples. If I'm gonna do color, I'm not really gonna do reds or oranges, but I don't know. The weather is warming up, so hopefully 
I'll be able to get some good use out of this. Next is the Aha Honey palette. This is what it looks like. One of these shades is in my Pando's eyeshadows right now. The quality of this is stunning. Like, oh, it's so beautiful. I did fall in love with all yellow looks for a while when I was playing with this, and I don't know, I don't know, summer is on its way, so maybe I need to do more of those. Next is the Just My Look palette. This is what it looks like. This shade Mary Jane in the center is like a yellowy lime green. It is just so nice. It gives this palette so much like contrast and gives it like a bit of a different edge. Love that. Love Charmed. We finally hit pan in this. Can you see? Oh my god, this took way too long. <laughs> But I love the mix of like olivey greens, chartreuse greens, and then like primary greens. Incredible. Love. Next is my High Tide. This is beautiful as well. It doesn't look too well loved because it is kind of new. I say kind of because I've had this for well over a year, but still. <laughs> this is in my Project 10 uses right now and I'm very close to hitting my 10 uses. I just love this. Again, this is like, this is where I gravitate towards. If I'm doing color, I'm doing something like this. It's just, oh, it's stunning. Like, look at this. I love it so much. I saw Morgan Turner recently put this in a basket of palettes that like she's never used and she's gonna declutter. And I was like, no. No, please don't. It's so beautiful. Next, we all know, this is my favorite. This is the Blue Moon palette. Just opening this up right now, it just made me smile. Like, I, I really love this palette. We did hit pan in Clued In, which again was a task. Let me try and show you. There you go. You can see the pan there. The shade Lumi, like, I've even thought about naming a dog Lumi. I, I love this shade. This is like one of those uh, white to blue duochromes. Can you imagine a blue staffy called Lumi? Like, just imagine that for a minute. That is my dream. That is in my five year goals to have a blue staffy called Lumi. How cute. Like, come on. <laughs> but yeah, I just love, I love blue anyway. You guys know, blue is my favorite color to wear on my eyes. And I just, I love it so much. Next is the Frozen 2 Elsa palette. This is what it looks like. This, I would like to use this more. I feel like there are very limited looks that you can do with it. The shade Awakened and the shade Spindrift are very similar. Awakened just has that really annoying glitter in it. The shade Water obviously is a blue, I love it. The shade Flurry, I wear this on my nails sometimes and it looks insane. It's like, I can't even describe it. It's like blue, green, yellow, and pink glitter. It's so beautiful. This shade Cuddle Close is like Lumi, but pink. Um, Yeah, Northern Lights is stunning as well. It's kind of got a bit of a duochrome flip to it. I just, yeah, I love this. I really do. I need to use it more. How many times are we gonna say that in this video? Oh my God. Next is the It's My Pleasure. A lot of the shades are still in my No Pan Left Behind project. You saw that about 10 years ago when we first started this video. But this is what it looks like. I had Pretty Cruel in a Pan Those Eyeshadows project and believe it or not, this has 20 uses on it. It looks brand new. How does that work? <laughs> Colourpop mattes can be so difficult to hit pan on kind of unbelievable. Um, yeah, mad. Sleeper has a very big dip in it though, but that's because I use a quite a precise brush. But yeah, I've actually really loved playing around with this palette in my No Pan Left Behind, which is matte because it's purple and we all know how I feel about purple. Three left. We're on the home stretch. This is the Colourpop Making Mauves palette. I really didn't like this when I first got it. But now, I don't know, like I've used those mauves in the Modern Renaissance palette. And now looking at this, I'm like, ooh, ooh, <laughs> maybe, maybe I misjudged you. I don't know, I do. Like this shade, uh, Big Fig, is very similar to kind of Bon Fresco. Um, this shade is stunning, mauve on top. You can see how shimmery and sparkly that is. 
yeah, maybe, maybe I should give this another go. I remember having this in a Project 10 uses, like, years ago, and it was a struggle. But, like, I don't know, we change. That's why I don't like getting rid of many palettes, because, like, I would have got rid of this in a heartbeat, but now I'm like, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Next is the That's Taupe palette. This, again, very neglected. It's just because I have so many similar shades that I am actively panning that, like, trying to spread the love is a little bit difficult. But I do really enjoy this palette. When I do pull this out and I use it, like, I love it. This was also in the running to be my Pan That palette this year. I don't know. Oh, it is so beautiful. I could probably make such a big dent in this palette if I really worked on it. Maybe in the future. It's definitely, like, in the top five possible Pan That palettes next year. I do love this. It is so pretty. And then the last palette, unfortunately, we are ending on a bad note. This is the Baroque palette. And I don't know, like, again, opening it, I get excited. I get excited looking at the colours. But I know I don't reach for grey tones. Like, these super dark greys. This is a fantasy self palette. This is, I want to be an Instagram baddie. Um, I want to wear black smoky eyes every day. Um, <laughs> it just is. I don't know what else to say, but I never reach for it. I had this in a no pan left behind last year. It was okay. It was fine, but I am going to keep it in my collection. I know obviously this isn't a declutter, but the reason I keep it in my collection is because I don't have any other gray tones and if I got rid of this, like, I wouldn't have any greys in my collection. And I like to have a broad range. So, yeah, that's why I keep it. It does have a purpose. Holy moly, mother of Jesus, we have finished. We have finished. To be fair, it didn't take as long as I thought it would be. Uh, right now, we're on 37 minutes. So, you know what? Well done, me. I think I did great. So let me know, do you have any of these palettes in your collection? What do you think of them? What is your favorite palette? What palette would you steal from me? Here we go, this is the question. What palette would you steal from me if you could break into my little house and steal one palette? Obviously, I will kill you if you do that, but... <laughs> Let's say that you can just get away with it. What palette would you steal from me? Are there any palettes that I love that maybe you hate? Let me know. Let's have a discussion. I always love our little discussions in the comments section. Give me something to gas at. Come on. I'm, I'm counting on you. I've done all the talking today. Now it's your turn. <laughs> I hope you did enjoy this video. I really loved opening up all my old neglected palettes and just kind of loving them a little bit. I was very good. I didn't swatch. I was very close to, but I didn't. I'm very happy. But yeah, I hope you have an incredible day. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content about bright, fun, colorful makeup. And I will see you tomorrow for a new video. Bye, 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 bye.